Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. Hello, look, here's my coop. My friend Trevor's here. Hello, Trev. <laughs> Trevor's going to film me while I start the coop up and back it out, and we're going to take it out on a nice run. I don't think they'll have one in Halfords. No. Look, there's a pair of scissors. There's the fan belt. There's a load of bits where I just cut off it. So hopefully <laughs> it'll last a few miles. We don't need to go very far, so it'll last a few miles for this little trip. Okay, so let's just keep our fingers crossed. I'm here at the uh, British Motor Museum at Gaydon and they do a classic car gathering which is like just the very first signs of kind of trying to come out of lockdown. There are a limited number of tickets available and you have to book up and everything. But it's a good turnout. And there's a nice Buick and there's a Pontiac Silver Streak next to it. I've come down in the coop, my coop's miles over there. Here's a, here's a brace of MGs. All the MGs have parked over this side. Obviously very popular here in the UK. Got all sorts here, look, hot hatches. Volvo wagon. What you can't smell is the burgers. <laughs> the burgers smell nice. It's a nice Austin Healey look. MGC GT. That's got the six cylinder engine. And it should also have, yes, it's got like um, the bulges in the bonnet for the bigger engine. So there's the bulging bonnet of the MGC and there's an MGB. And nicely, look at MGC, MGB, MGA. Nice actually. And another nice one there. That's, that's, uh, I like the way they've done that with the knockoff steels look and the sort of racing screen. Yeah. There's the number plate. I'll put that there. Hopefully you can read it. And if you want to freeze the screen, you can read that, hopefully. Yeah. 
Trans Am. Nice noise. Some more MGs. It's nice. <laughs> It's a big uh, Lincoln, obviously a very <laughs> unusual site here in the UK, Lincoln Continental. No, it's very uh, straight actually, very very straight. One for uh, Dean's greasy flips there. Nice um, Austin there, look. Now that's... Um, an Austin Hereford, that's what they call the A70. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. Where's this bloke going in his old car? Look. I'll just um, kind of walk around and show a few cars. It's all a lot of light model stuff. I was just driving here and I was got my mates in the car, Trevor, and we were I was just kind of gunning the engine, you know, full throttle and I was thinking, you know, so mine's a 1933 car and I'm going full throttle. I, I was just imagining some of these old boys in these old cars, you know, how hard would they thrash them? <laughs> Not as hard as I was, I think. Triumph's got a little bit of a water problem. Nice um, Alvis over the back there, look, see? There, look, with the stacked headlights. over the back. I've got to watch it down this end, you've got the loud music playing, I'll keep talking over it. Here's my uh, coupe, which uh, has just come out of the garage and I haven't even washed it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm such an idiot. I just like, just, you know, go against uh, what everybody else does, you know. It's just the way I am. Here's Jeff Zephyr looking very nice. This is a Mark one. Here's that um, Lanchester that I showed. Yeah, look at maybe if I zoom on this, maybe you can. Maybe somebody can make use of that. I don't know how to do it. Hello. I looked at this one last uh, last October, I think it was. Yeah, I made the comment that uh, it was originally designed for social distancing. You know, it was in the back, didn't want to mix with anybody else. Lovely car. As a complete contrast, that's my Ford Coupe now. <laughs> yeah. What's this washing cars all about? Oh dear. I like the uh, the lovely wood on the uh, door panels and the aged leather as well. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> and now here's an Allegro. <laughs> and here's an Allegro. Now these were actually uh, you know, one of the production models when I was working at Longbridge, when I was an apprentice. A very rare sight these days, actually. A nice, light, nimble design, actually. I quite like them. Old Rover over there, look. Okay. Oh, this is where all the Volvos are hanging out. That other bloke was at the wrong end of the thing. There's a bit that big truck. I don't know enough about them. Some minis and things and sports cars. There we go, look, there's uh, some uh, Triumphs. 
look at look at the wheels on that they're fantastic aren't they wow they, they really are something out of the ordinary this little triumph herald coupe here look one for jonathan w Triumph uh, sports cars. Okay, you got me beat on this one, I'm not sure, but I can see it's on Ford Pop uh, axles. It's, um, you know, some sort of a sports special from the 50s. Got um, the pop. It hasn't got the pop front end actually. It's all been modified up into an independent setup. But but not but not the um, the split beam axle that they sometimes used to do on the pops. But you can see it's got the the pop gearbox all the way down the front there with this uh, remote linked to it. I can't actually see the gearbox, it's right right the way forward. But the stick, you know, goes all the way forward there. Nice little bucket seats. Nice uh, Alfa Romeo. I had the engine out of one of these in a Ford 100E van. Actually, my engine was out of a two litre saloon, which is a much rarer car. Little um, Austin Sports Trials car. Chap was saying that um, the guy that drives this was saying that uh, he's hardly been able to use it much because of the, uh, you know, uh, there not being any competitive events on. Escort well, looks like a bit of a serious competition machine. Classic Ford Pop. 1600 crossflow. Mm. 9k. It's alright actually. Some more Triumphs. Rover. One for uh, Sheldon there, classic Britain. Some stags. Oh, and a couple. Of, oh, and a Model A coming in. Look, a Model A coupe. And here's um, a, a variant of the Austin 1300, 1100-1300. This is the Vanden Plas or Vanden Pla, I'm not sure which is correct, correct. but uh, let's see how much it is. Doesn't even say the price. 1700 miles from now, 1966, yeah nice. I was just saying to my friend, my uh, music teacher had one of these. Got like a picnic tray in the back. Look. The the Vanden Plas was the top model that you could get. Here's a Morgan three wheeler. <laughs> JAP engine, Jap engine. I don't know if it's Jap or JAP. JA Prestwich, I think. See the um, speedometer look on a cog from the wheel. <laughs> Pretty clever, isn't it? Sliding pillar suspension. Interesting, actually. I'm guessing it hasn't got a lot of turns lock to lock. With those cable things on there, no, well, yeah. It is really twitchy in Australia. Yeah. It's just all over the place. 
Oh, could you mind if I just ask what's that? Um, it's an oiler, obviously, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? You build, you build pressure up with that, do you? Push, push that. Push that in. Oh, and it puts a few and squirts it's, through, it's yeah. It, it, it runs, runs into the. Um... What do you have to do that every so often as it's running? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh great, yeah. Squirt a bit of oil on the. Yeah, yeah, because it's all exposed rocker gear, isn't it? Super. Yeah. And then you check once it once you fired it up. Oh yeah. There, you check that oil's coming. Ch through. Check for flow. <laughs> <laughs> there's something you don't see every day. Well, there's a, there's a singer Shamwell over there. Yeah. One of the sunbeam. You don't yeah. see one called. anywhere for years, and then two turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The museum on the yeah. ramp. There's a Hillman as well to make the complete collection. Hillman in. Okay, where did that model A go? I think it's over there. There's a um, Honda in sight. I can't, can't remember the relative significance of that. Excuse me, mate. Can you remember? Are these like electric or like hybrid or something or something no. something out of the ordinary at the time? Were they? Or was it just mega mega uh, aerodynamic or something? It is. You're right. Petrol electric hybrid. Yeah. 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 One of the very first. And then there's a Corvette. <laughs> like, you know, the other end of the, uh, you know, the other end of the uh, fuel consumption spectrum. I saw this one last time. It looks really nice out in the sun today in a pale yellow. A couple of model eyes there. Hello, is one of these yours? No. The indicators are on, shall I reach in and turn it off? Uh, it is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. How are you doing? You know, I'm, I'm filming. Just for a change. Model A, two door. Is that like your speed sensor? Is you tell how fast you've been by how far the roof's peeled back? Yeah, it's a speed limiter actually. Yeah. If you go too fast, it just peels yeah. up. Was this down at, um, up at Bridlington? Yes, it was. I think I was chatting to you there about it without realising who you were. Yeah. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? How long you had that one? Since 2014. Uh, only got it on the road last two to three years, I guess. Who's is that one there? Paul's behind you. Hello, Paul. How you doing? Model A, hi boy. Bloody hell, mate! You got some seats in it, yeah. <laughs> Some HRA action, you see. Can it corner that hard, can it? <laughs> like... well, it's a bit hairy when it goes around. It's hairy when it goes around. Yeah. I'm just amazed when mine goes around corners, full stuff. <laughs> uh, my coupe. The... Got some uh, sports seats in, oh, and uh, a roll bar. Mm, interesting. Four cylinder. Ah, of course, of course, me. Don't know where I'm pointing the camera. Model A, lovely. Fenderless. I like it. You'll be able to have a look at them, Jack, once they're set up, right?
Okay guys, first car we've got coming out is our 1902 Albion dog cart, which is the red one. So this was manufactured in Glasgow um, and it's called the dog cart. It's named after a type of horse-drawn carriage where there would be a space under the back seat for your dogs to go. Now, unfortunately, ours doesn't have dogs in the back seat, but it does have an engine in there, a two-cylinder horizontally opposed engine. When it's parked up later on, we'll get the buck open up so you can have a little look if you want to. Oh, is it in? <laughs> ah. So that's our Albion dog cart going off, 1902. Just behind the green one is 1904 Thornycroft. So in just two years time, you can see the difference in car design. And this one is much more recognizably looking like a car with the radiator and the bonnet at the front. And it's got four front facing seats, whereas the dog cart has back to back seats. So I'll let them drive around for a bit guys. If you can just be mindful if you're stood in a roadway because they will be coming in and out of the car park a little bit so you can get a good view. So just be a bit careful about where you're standing if they're coming up behind you. And they will be coming up to the front here for pictures if you want a closer look. We entered the London to Brighton Veteran Car Run for the museum. And we've even had <laughs> celebrities like Sir Terry Wogan and Sir Steve Redgrave driving the green Thornycroft as well. What year did they say Thornycroft was? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. It was parked over there last time I was having a real good look at it. Lovely. Very nice. Got that sort of straight cut gear sort of noise, hasn't it? That's right, yeah. They need like a, a gentleman dressed in tweed to drive and then they, you know, like a deer stalker or something, Maybe you know? Not somebody with a mohawk in No, no mohawk in yeah. Not a period drive, is it? No. <laughs> Was this the one that was parked over there in, in on the October meet? Uh, possibly not. I don't know oh, okay. if it's in the museum. What's in there? Yeah, it is this one. I recognise that district. It's a sort of setup. Yeah, it was parked on the front there. I think without that, it's in trouble, isn't it? Are they a little electric fan? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well that, that, when you're doing that, parades that, and things, that, though, you know, you'd be going yeah, slow, wouldn't you? Yeah. Did you hear the Albion when he turned it off? No, no, I didn't. It's like, turn it off, and it's yeah. like. Ch -ch 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 oh, slowing down. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great big heavy flywheel, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Oh, there, there's a great big flywheel. Well, then. Yeah. Well, what a super machine. Yeah, Look at the chains and everything, oil spraying everywhere. Look. I know. Typical. Yeah. But. Well, like okay, when you turn it off, it kind of keeps going for ages, doesn't it? Before well, it's, got it no, it's got no ignition technically. No. It runs off a 24 volt generator. Oh, right. So it's always live. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to break 
the exhaust valves open. Okay, yeah. So it's still technically running yeah. and it just sort of stalls yeah, it just, itself. Because it just went, I just said to my mate, it just said, you sort of turned it up and it just went, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> until it finally, what you know, slower and slower. Pardon? 1902. 02, bloody hell. I mean, that, that's not 100 years old, that's like almost 120 years old, that's mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. long one. Yeah. That's an album. What makes this one? Thornycroft. Thornycroft. There's a plaque on the dash, on the, on the, on the side of the dash. They were famous for making trucks. Yeah, that's, that's right. Albion. That's what she said. Like yeah. they, they, they did build passenger cars, and then it, during World War One they switched over to trucks, and it kind of never went back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Little muggy miner with all the bits, period bits and pieces in the back. Look, cine camera and picnic basket and green shield stamps. RAC guide. Nice, nice car. Beautiful condition. Structural ash would work on these. The devil could cast his net. <laughs> cast his net. There's um, a Willie's Jeep station wagon over here. Over there, look, got a Chevy V8 in it. And there's the um, Chevy truck with the Ford V8 in it. Ford Cortina Estate, one for uh, Pete C and uh, Hooked on Classics. Another Morris Minor. It's always on you inviting it. The Model A sedan and the Model A coupe. You see that, it's about to be invited though. For the way he did it. <laughs> Well, that's it, we're winding down now, so I'm going to bid adios and uh, make my way home and uh, you take care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Let's see if the coupe will start alright. I've trimmed the, trimmed the shredded bits off the phone belt. I've checked for neutral. Well, you can't complain of that, can you? You can't complain of that.